This is how I series parallel 20 lithium ion phosphate LFP 3.2 volt 25 amp hour each for 12 volt off grid battery backup application. So these are the top band batteries. You've seen this before. So I just get some bus bars that I had laying around for quite a while. And today's the day I'm going to utilize them or put them to work. Well, you guys have seen this because I'm building that, those batteries for this application for a Magnum Energy 1012. This is going to be the box and that's the uh, terminal and it has a switch control or disconnect with a Renogy um, battery monitor with a shunt built in and trying to get this bad boy to work the way we want it to be. So today I had this shunt uh, boss buy bought for $12.99 years ago. I have that lay around so I cut in the middle so I can have my five string, five strings of four. So four of these batteries gives you the 12 volt um, uh, nominal voltage here 3.2 3 6 9 12 so 2 4 6 8 12 point 8 so I set up this battery bank for a reason and I uh, just want to charge it the way I want it then I can able to come back this way um, parallel these guys here all the positives parallel all the negatives you know Positive, negative, positive, negative, so they all balance without using a BMS um, on these guys. But this is really cool battery bank. And I want to see uh, what I can do with it or what someone else can able to do with this um, setup here. And um, we want to put do a load test on these batteries. We already had these batteries for a very long time, which... Um, up to now, we haven't done any capacity test, neither um, put them into any um, use. So I have over 100 and some of these batteries, which I got before from Battery Cup, and which they no longer have for sale. But you can find these batteries online, on eBay, or some of the battery outlets. If you're lucky enough to get some. But I've set them for different application here. And which I'm going to show you. I have the biggest battery bank. Uh, set it right now into 12 volt. Because I have some Victron energy uh, equipment. Which are based on 12 volts, 24 volts and 48 volts uh, respectively. So these are the batteries here. You've seen them before. So we're going to go through this. And look at this, it just looks like um, a nice setup here. So I can use any kind of wire gauge I want to use on these guys, on these terminals. And I can able to do the same thing here. But to get these batteries well, properly balanced, I can able to tie a little string like I did before here. And do this and do that all the way and get them all balanced up. But right now they're all balanced. So let's put some multimeter tester here and see how was the voltage on these batteries since they've been sitting approximately a year ago. This is an outstanding battery bank and uh, it delivers uh, 125 amp hour each, 125 amp hours. So we have 25 amp hours on each four, on these four modules here. So we have a, um, a five strings of four and five strings of four so we have um, a 4s 5p 4s 5p so four batteries in series and five in parallel 
to give us 125 amp power on this battery bank. So let's see the voltage here. And we have a 13.34, 13.343 volts, 13.43 volts. There you go. It has been seen, I have the strings were connected into these to get them all balanced. So if we decide to go on each battery here, it's supposed to give us, um, I think exactly uh, 3.355, 3.356. So we're going to this 3.3. And we can go back to the other one here. So they all into the uh, balance mode right now. So we're going to put them into charge. Then I will get back to you as soon as possible. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA live from the command center in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you back on the next video like and subscribe thanks for watching